uh, I went to go test the controls and Link, because we start in the Temple of Time, the cutscene played anyway, and I didn't want to restart and fuck with it. So I just said, you know what? I'll go live with this. This is fine. So, hi everybody. You seen any uh, cool, cool uh, videos lately of... Vinny Vine Sauce? Try finger, butthole. Eh. I was upset that mine was only hello Peter, which I thought was what I was, what everyone was going to do. Everyone did something different. And so I, I made a different one for myself. This was the original. Vinny Vine Sauce? Hello Peter. Like, that's fine, but you know, let's, let's keep it topical. Let, let's, let's do the... Anyway, uh, thank you, Ross and Don, and also Desert, for doing the voice. I think, um, I think I spiced it up a little bit. Anyway, I hope you're doing okay, everybody. Um, I'm here a little late. I had a studio session today. It went late. And, uh, so I said, fuck it. I'm gonna play some Zelda. I'm gonna try to finish the game tonight. And if we have time, I'll do something for Mario, Mari Day. Because it's M- a R one one. I missed Mario Day yesterday. I've been waiting for you, Link. Link, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have a final challenge, a showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikah. Yeah, I don't know who Sheik is, but we'll find out. If you would seek the Sacred Triangle, something, the resting place of the Sacred Triangle, the Sacred Realm is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart, the heart of the one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm of evil if pure realm paradise the triforce the sacred triangle is a balance that weighs the three forces power wisdom and courage and the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all the forces balance one and if one's heart is not in balance triforce will separate into three parts power wisdom and courage only one part will remain for the one who touched the triforce the part representing the force that one most believes in if that one seeks the true force uh, one must acquire the two lost parts those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Oh man. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hands. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Link. No, seriously, check the back of your, uh, hand. The other, who holds the Triforce of Wisdom, is the seventh sage, who is destined to be the leader of them all. <laughs> Sheik is the seventh sage, that's the plot twist. Oh, and Sheik stole Zelda's dress after the world collapsed. Okay, Sheik is Zelda. It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zeld. Yeah, this was a pretty crazy plot twist. It was not spoiled for me when I was younger. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. On that day seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle.
I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. Does is chic is girl. That's the topic of the YouTube video. Four hour YouTube video. Four hour YouTube video explaining the lore of every Zelda game, Sheik, Zelda, connections like Pepe Sylvia starring Charlie Day. Four hours does is Sheik, rumor is true is girl. As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm, but... But something happened I could never expect happened. <laughs> I read that wrong. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the Sacred Realm. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. And now, you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the King of Evil, will end. The six Sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back to the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf, the Evil King, will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. Here is a weapon that can penetrate an Evil King's defense. The Evil King's defenses, as if there's more than one. Power given to the Chosen Ones. The Sacred Light Arrow. The light of justice will smite evil. <laughs> if you had told me to choose, like, to pick a line from Zelda, like, and you showed me that line, you're like, what game is this from? I'd be like, I, I don't know, smite? Not Zelda. <gasps> that rumbling. It can't be. Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. Not a jar. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two, then I will become the true ruler of the world! And, uh, villainous voice acting. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle for dinner. Oh no. This is a new controller, by the way. This is a new pro controller. Now I can't run anywhere. Wow, the Pro Controller just doesn't work. Yeah, I guess the old one was fine. It's a good thing I bought a whole new controller. Hmm. Oh, 
it is a nice controller. My old one was drifting a bit. Vinny, yeah, it works everywhere else it works great. Everywhere else it works great. Okay. This is not a Nintendo issue. This is now a better joy issue, I think. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, better joy is bad. Um, I, I hate this. I'm hoping to finish this game tonight, so I never have to think about the better joy to, uh, program ever again. Okay. Well. All right, everybody. Doesn't DS for win- Apparently it doesn't work, uh, as well. And the gyro doesn't work as easily. All right. Oh, I'll try something different. Wow, I'm running. I just have to not use the Pro Controller. At, listen, at least... At the very least, it's playable. Alright. Alright, we're good. I don't have Gyro, but this is the last episode, I, I think. So, fine. I'll, I'll just deal with it. Um, I did buy another full-ass fucking controller. Yes. I'm not... I, I'm, a, I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset. But I, I will live. Oh well. It's funny because, again, I was gonna test it out, but then... As soon as I went to go test it out, that cutscene played, and I was like, Fuck, I just have to take a chance here. So does the other one actually drift? Yeah, the right stick drifts. Pro controllers on PC mostly work with new USB ports. I've been using the same port, I've been using the same cable, and the same controller, and then one day it just doesn't allow me to run. I've changed, like, nothing. Very bizarre. It's very bizarre. I don't- I don't know. Yeah, technology. You was heard the word. Did you hear about the technology that Apple has unveiled? It's a monitor. Yeah, and there's a cable that costs like 160 bucks if you want to buy just the cable. Something like that. It's like a crazy expensive monitor and like 160... It's $1,600 monitor and a $200 cable. Something like that. I, I'm not maybe getting it right, but... And people will eat that up. Like, oh, I need the product. I need the product. You, you, you don't need that product. You can get a different product. You can, there's other product on the market, I promise you. Hey, I know what we can do. We can take away the port so people can't listen to their headphones. And then we'll sell airbeds. Airbed. Air, 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 bird. Like the movie with the dog. Vinny, did you see the Ross video? Well, of course I've seen it. He's me. No, I was in it, yeah. And then I, I made a, a new one that I showed at the beginning of this stream. Um, of course I know him. He's me. I uh, recorded about an hour or so of Chocobo Racing, the light version. And uh, I'll just give you a quick spoiler. It is over-monetized out the asshole. I didn't pay for it, which I'm glad I didn't. Some of the maps look kind of nice. The gameplay is kind of solid. I, I think I had some fun. The menu music is the most god-awful music I've ever heard in a menu since Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Um, and in order to unlock really cool characters, you need to buy a Battle Pass, even if you spend $50 on the game. Um, that said, it's also a bit of a clusterfuck. Like, in terms of there's just so many items. That said... 
the game is actually kind of fun. If it was just that game and no bullshit, I, and it was like set up like Mario Kart, I think I would have enjoyed it quite a bit. It's just all the extra stuff that Square threw in there is just, what a shame. Anyway, this time in Zeld, we're going to do the Gerudo training ground. I'm gonna uh, turn in my Skulltulas, maybe get one more heart, and then uh, probably go defeat Ganon. I don't want to do all the side quests. There's a lot, and truthfully, um, I'm... I'm feeling very uh, comfortable finishing the game. I do want to get the ice arrows, though. God, five rupees. <laughs> Defeat all enemies in the time limit. <laughs> For those that didn't see my five hour or so Elden Ring video today, um, there's a nine hour one on the horizon as well. Listen, I don't know who's watching this shit. I don't care. I'm journaling all of my Elden Ring travels. If you want to watch, that's cool. If not, it's pre-recorded. You know, you can you can avoid them. We're combining them into these massive videos so that we don't spam your sub feed. And also because I'm still enjoying the game a lot. Today I didn't get a chance to play, which sucks. But um, when I have a chance to play, I like to play for like two, three hours or more. Vinny, shouldn't you practice for the Fall Guys tournament? I did. Um, there's a video on that that will be uploaded of me practicing the Fall Guys. Not kidding. Dead game, by the way. It kind of is, but weirdly enough, I kind of had some fun practicing. Yeah, Al Alpha Red's doing another tournament. It's Fall Guys. It's tomorrow. I'm not planning on making any, like, any content quote-unquote, content of it. I, I, I'm just gonna do the, the tournament for fun. So... Uh, but you can watch me practice and get really angry. Maybe you'll enjoy that, I don't know. Who's your team? Um... I actually forgot. I know I'm on the same team as Alpha. I, I'm, I'm serious, I'm... I've been so in Elden Ring land, I don't know. Like, I've, I've actually forgotten. It's between Elden Ring and Studio Time, which has been very productive and has been, um, numerous. Also, um, the uh, Obi-Wan trailer. I've mentioned it in my pre-recorded stuff, so you'll hear this again. I I think it looked I think it looked good. But I'm not sure if it was the music that made me like it. That backstab maneuver works even in Zelda. Oh, I'm skeptical of most things Star Wars, but Ewan McGregor looks perfect. I want to see Obi-Wan with good writing. That's, that's how I feel. Like, I just want to see what is Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan going to be like with good writing. Will this have good writing? That remains to be seen. But Ewan is a wonderful Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I really hope... I really hope the show lets him stretch a little bit and do some cool stuff. That isn't just... I guess he's gonna fight Inquisitors?
which are cool. We'll see. Are they going to do a Darth Maul duel like they did in Rebels? Could they could they do something like that? Could they bring him back? Um, are they going to... I know Hayden is in the show. So are they going to do an Obi-Wan versus Anakin thing? I mean, I'm not sure what they're going to go for. I just hope... ...that not all of it takes place on Tatooine, because I'm sick of that planet, and sand in general. It's coarse, it's rough, it's irritating, it gets everywhere. But the good thing about the trailer is that it looks like he goes to other planets, including one that looks very cyberpunk. So... I'm... You know, I'm gonna watch it. Someone said, I miss the pain. I was just listening to the police song, King of Pain, and I was thinking to myself, oh, this is the cyberpunk anthem. Yeah, 200 rupees, hell yeah. Oh, thank God for that. So many pointless rewards in this game. Vinny, there's no health overlay. Sorry. Uh, what else? So yeah, Obi-Wan show, Advance Wars was delayed. I mean, I talked about it in a pre-recorded thing, like I said, but... That game is cursed, because it came out on the GBA originally, September 10th, 2001. And now people are saying there's a curse. Um... I think the only reason it's delayed is because one of the factions is very much... Like, hello, comrade. So, I think that they're just trying real hard to avoid any parallels. I gotta be honest, I'm interested in the remake, but... I can wait. I just wish it wasn't a full... Um... Priced game. It doesn't- it, it doesn't need to be, it, based on how it looks, but I could... Also be a little bit biased, because, uh... You know. To me, that's like a $40 game. 20 bucks for each Advance Wars. It's two games in one, which was- which is nice. But, um, that's just my opinion. That's how I feel about it. Are you gonna watch the Sonic sequel? Yeah. How could I not? Remember, Sega does what Nintendo don't! No, I'm gonna watch it. Um, have you checked out the Arceus update? No. Again... I gotta be honest, I would like to check it out eventually and see the post-game. But at the moment, I'm just... I I'm sorry, I'm just stuck in Elden. I can't- I can't help- I can't even think about going back to Pokémon right now. But don't worry, the Scarlet and Violet Rot are gonna uh, be revolutionary open-world games, so... You know, maybe- maybe those will be good and I'll play those, who knows. How devastated will you be once you finish Elden Ring? Hopefully not too devastated, because Kirby will ease the pain, and uh, Lego Star Wars will hopefully be really good. So... And listen, you know, by the time I'm done with Elden Ring, chances are I'll be done with Elden Ring. Because... It's a big fucking game. I I'll have had my fill. And then I'll just wait for Breath of the Wild 2. I'm not gonna play Stranger of Paradise. <laughs> that's a- that's a hard pass for me. It seems like it's fun. But, uh, I'm not interested. 
Yes, we've already had Elden Ring playthrough. What about second Elden Ring playthrough? Did you finish Elden Ring? Sorry, Eternal Cylinder. Oh my god, my brain. I finished the Eternal Cylinder. And I will say, I wish... My, my full thoughts on that game are as follows. Neat idea. Some jank. I wish it was half as long as it ended up being. Infernax I finished, yes. Infernax was very good, and I kind of wish I went for the other endings. Infernax had a cool mechanic where you could... Hmm. You could be ultimate evil or ultimate good, and your choices actually affect the ending and the way your character looks and your magic. So I think they did a really good job with that game. How do I get that? There's a switch on the other side. No. Okay. Did you hear people are selling Mario milk on eBay? Just, like, expired March 10th milk. They always do that, and every year I forget that they do that. I have to say, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the way these, um... These statue blocks dissolve into nothing. And the sound they make as well. I think this room was... Probably, when I played, uh, randomized Ocarina, this was one of the worst rooms. If I'm not mistaken. Also, if I had Gyro, this would be... a lot easier, but... They still improve the aiming for the analog stick in the 3DS version, regardless of Gyro, so... I always found the Ocarina aiming with the N64 controller to be very touchy and, and kind of... kind of awful. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is I've been watching old Chris Farley, like SNL and just random Chris Farley stuff. I don't know why. I think it's because um, I was listening to David Spade and Dana Carvey's podcast and they were talking about him. And that guy was... That guy was so fucking funny. Like, even the skits that I've seen a thousand times as a kid have me cracking up. Like, I wish... I wish Chris Farley did not perish so soon. Guy was a, a fucking genius performer, really. Um, hey, hey, Paul. Um, rem remember when you were in the Beatles? Oh yeah, Phil Hartman too. I was always a big Dana Carvey fan too because I just I like the. Uh, Impressions. As you can tell by the Turtle Club that we have. We have the Turtle Club. 
Vinny, is your jar game in early access yet? No, but there is a viewer who is watching my stream who actually made like a little um, version of it. They're working on it right now. They're, they're like, they took my concept and are working on it. There's a scarecrow here, but you can't activate it unless you're up top. Okay. I can't use Scarecrow, so let's- let's go back. <laughs> well, sometimes you have to play the song in a specific spot. But, um, when I was in the Forest Temple, there was no spot, because it wasn't even real at that point. And boy, did I feel like a fucking dump master. Seriously. Also, I'm watching Better Call Saul, um, and I got to the episode where Colin Robinson from What We Do in the Shadows... Um, is trying to get his baseball cards back, and Saul takes him as a client. And then, in order to defend him, he says something about, like, squat cobblers? Because they think he has illegal stuff. And Saul's like, you know, listen. He's making videos, you know, and they, they, he just keeps dragging it out, dragging it out, and he's like, what kind of videos? You know, like squat cobblers. They're like squat cobblers. He's like, you know, like full moon pies. He sits on pies and he wiggles and, you know, he films it. So yeah, I'm enjoying the show. Oh, good. It's a different tone than Breaking Bad, but it's still very good, and Bob Odenkirk is great, and, uh... You wanna hear something funny? Bob Odenkirk wrote the Van Down by the River, Chris Farley sketch. Which is probably why... I've been watching videos about David Spade and Dana Carvey, because my Bob Odenkirk searches are getting added to the Dana Carvey ser uh, searches. Why? Or people are like, they don't believe that he wrote that. He was a writer on SNL along with Conan O'Brien at the same time. So yeah, he wrote a lot of sketches for Chris Farley. Did you watch El Camino? Yes, it was, it was mediocre. I thought. It was a movie. Someone said something about a new Dead Space. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope it's good. I hope it's real. I, I am aware of Meth Damon looking physically very different in the preceding year- preceding years from Breaking Bad to El Camino. Like, distractingly different. Yes, Todd. Fuck Todd, by the way. Anyway. My, I first laid eyes on Jesse Plemons from that Black Mirror episode where he plays the, um, the piece of shit starship captain. And the dude from uh, Always Sunny, Jimmy Simpson, is also in that episode. Oh man, such cool rewards. Thank you for the rupees. Vinny, I just finished watching DS9. I'm wondering what to watch next for Star Trek shows. You may as well watch Voyager at that point. I think Voyager is pretty cool. It's not my favorite, but it's... I think it's enjoyable. There's some really good episodes. DS9 is actually, like, amazing. Just don't- don't expect the same level of amazing 
in my humble opinion. Because I, I don't think Voyager ever reaches... It, it has some great episodes. Like, some really fantastic episodes. For sure. But I don't think it ever reaches the heights of DS9, so... Check out Voyager if you don't like it. Enterprise is not gonna do you much better. Though I kinda like Enterprise. And then you're done. <coughs> ah, yes, apply the gel. Um, I did watch the Red Letter Media, like I said, I, I, they talked about Picard Season 2. I watched it. It was just them talking. It's not gonna change my mind on it. I still don't want to watch it, unless Sphinx... Ho I was surprised that... Hang on. I'm, yes, I'm checking one more time. I, I'm still missing keys, though. But I thought maybe there would be like a place I could climb. Jesus. We watched it with Sphinx, it was okay. Alright. I was gonna say, if he dragged me into a movie theater to watch it, I'd watch it. Here's what I will say, though. I thought Mike Stoklaza was like, Hello, here's my enemy, Rich Evans, and I'm gonna force him, my hostage, Rich Evans, I'm gonna force him to watch the show. It was fucking Rich's idea. You didn't go through the door you opened? Which door did I open? Oh, right, I get it. Sorry, dumbass. I get it. I thought I opened the door to that room. I didn't. Have you listened to the new Black Keys song? Um, why, well, uh, you know what, again, some of you will have heard all of this in pre-recorded videos, but if you want to get my thoughts on it live... I'm happy they have a new album coming out. The song is fine. It's well produced. It's as generic Black Keys as you can get. It's- it's just fine. Wait, this is the wrong way, too. Oh, no. Well, the last album had some great songs on it. The song Tell Me Lies is great, Shine a Little Light. There's some stuff on there I really like. I'm assuming there's going to be some great ones on this next album, but truthfully, the single was pretty Black Keys by numbers. Very, very simple, very basic. Nice to listen to. Sounds good. Dan sounds great. <laughs> then you have the Jack White song, which is called Heidi Ho. With Q-Tip. It is the most bizarre fucking song I've heard in years. I almost didn't want to spoil how I felt about it, because I wanted people to go in totally blind on it. It's nothing... It's... It's not boring. It's definitely not boring. The other door. Wow, I keep... I have gone... Sorry, I'm talking, and I'm getting myself distracted. Where am I going? I'm just... I don't know. I'm just making conversation, and I'm... Being very bad at video games, as usual. Okay. Yeah, when I make conversation... And I do want to talk about this stuff, because it, I find it interesting. Um... It can be somewhat difficult to focus on the game as well. But, um, the Jack White song is absolutely fucking bizarre. I don't hate it. But I also laugh uncontrollably while listening to it. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. It's called Heidi Ho, and it sounds like Heidi Ho. I need to figure out what button my gear is. Hang on. Really? 
Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, Black Keys song is kind of generic. Jack White song is way too out there. Somewhere in... Somewhere there's a middle ground between, like, just kind of more of the same and totally, absolutely insane. And I think Jack White just... Whatever idea came to mind, they just put it in the song. Even if it was stupid, he was like, let's just... Whatever, it doesn't matter, just whatever it is. I feel like between that and him looking like the, the main character from the game ARMS... Like, I just hope he's okay. Because... He seems not okay. Dude is- is acting kind of weird. That said, though, some of the other songs he's released are actually quite good, so I'm... I'm just happy he's making music, and some of it is pretty good. Um, and then the Chili Peppers just put out a new song called Poster Child. Which... I... Oh god, how do I feel about that? Here's the thing about this Chili Pepper song. It's We Didn't Start the Fire. And Anthony Keaton's is going like a little bit of Led Zeppelin in the morning. It's weird. He just lists things that happened. He's just listing things. Um, but weirdly enough, the instrumentation is amazing. The song is catchy as fuck. It sounds like classic Chili Peppers. And the chorus is, I think, very good. So... I kind of like it. Uh, Joe at the studio does not like it. Though he can appreciate that it sounds good. If you haven't already, you can use the lens of truth in that room with the big silver- Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because I'm still missing one key, right? Hopefully this is a key. Oh, man. Oh, man, I still have to- oh, god. Alright, I'll have to go find the key in the room with the heavy thing and, and use the lens of truth. Uh, I will do that. There's an invisible ceiling in this room as well. Why does the training grounds want me to suffer? I see it, by the way. I do. Vinny, would a Zelda spin-off from FromSoft interest you? You know, at some point, I would have said absolutely not. But yeah, I, I, I'd be very interested, sure. If they just, like, reined back a little bit of their... I mean, first of all, I want them to continue making their own games. Because they make really good stuff with, like, nice, original, bizarre finger things. And I, I think that's great. But if, let's just say it had to happen... Fuck. Fuck! Let's just say it had to happen. Um, yeah, I think if they just reined in some of their more masochistic tendencies... I think, if anything, Elden Ring has proven that they could make it happen. I just want to see how they are with puzzles. Because the Zelda games are as much about puzzles as they are combat more. But I'd be curious to see... I mean, that would be if they tackled a traditional Zelda game for a spin-off. I think they could just kind of do what they normally do and have it Zelda-themed. Fuck it. I mean, hell, Retro had a... Yeah, Retro was gonna do a spin-off about the Sheikah. And we've had Hyrule Warriors, which is just a Muso with Zelda. You know, no one knows, no one thinks Hyrule Warriors is a Zelda mainline game. It's a spin-off, so you can do whatever the fuck you want. I no longer know where I'm going. This isn't it, right? 
Then you're going the right way now? Okay. A little bit of Zeppelin, rain it out of rain, rain. Huh? You're gonna check out the new Mario Kart tracks when they come out. Um, it depends on how busy I am next week. Are we sure this is the right way? I don't think this is the right way. There's a door in that hole. There was a door in the hole? Well, I've been in there already, but there was a door in there? Oh, yeah, there was a door in there. Wow. Oh, it's this place. It's a wonder I'm able to find anything in any video game. Though lately, when I play games and I just kind of... Um, don't stream them. I do find myself much more, like, focused. Intently. And so, I tend to... I tend to be able to... Maybe... I still miss things, but I, I can focus a little bit more. But I like talking to chat. I, it's fun. Sometimes chat is fun to talk to and just ramble. And then do the 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 Tony voice. I would be your poster child. That's the Tony voice. I, uh, I bought a Snapple today that was new, limited time only. It was... What was it called? Pineapple? It's, uh, called Pineapple of My Eye. So I get it. I drink it. Again, you'll hear this pre-recorded, but whatever. It's not like everyone watches every single thing I do. Um, so I'm like, oh, I like pineapple-flavored things. And it's like a little, little sweet in, in some good ways and some kind of weird ways. And then I read the ingredients, and there's fucking carrot juice in here. Seriously. Uh, well, carrot juice is good for your eyes, right? So that's why they called it that. No, I don't really like carrot juice. What, it's a myth? Oh, okay. I wanted to regenerate the cells in my eyes that have died to video games staring at screens. I wanted to regenerate them by just, like, chugging carrots. It's propaganda. Did Big Carrot force its way into the buttholes of advertising. I knew it. At least the beep is in time with the music. Oh man. It was in a much more pleasing spot last time. Excuse me. Let's see. I I have I need one more heart piece. I'll get one more heart piece. So um Is da 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 that that's the sand one? Yeah, right. Or wait, wait, is da 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 Kakariko? It's 
a good song, but it's not that one. It's, uh... Did you see the Foo Fighters horror movie? No, I'll watch it on TV at some point. I'll have to probably, like, have a couple drinks before watching it because I... I yeah, uh, I feel like I'm gonna, like, die of secondhand embarrassment watching that, but, um... Yeah, the Foo Fighters horror movie. People are like, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, it's- they made a horror movie. It's called Studio 666. Um, I kind of... I don't know, I like Dave Grohl. He's charismatic. I don't know if I want to see him acting, but... I don't know, maybe. I just... I haven't liked a Foo Fighters album in a long time, so I... Just, I'm not that interested. Yeah, eat the ghost! Yeah, eat the ghost! I've said it before, but I want it just... At this point... I kind of want to hear just Dave Grohl drum on Queens of the Stone Age or other random projects, them Crooked Vultures. Like, just give him, give him some drums and I'm happy. <laughs> Though, John Theodore is one of my favorite drummers. Like, of all time, and he's with Queens at the moment, so... Hey, Vinny, if you were Frodo, who fictional- who fictional would be your Samwise? Scoot? That's a really interesting question. Um, chat. I need a heart piece. Oh, you know what? Let me go to the fucking Sculptula dudes. I forgot about that. Jesus. I don't want to do the Zora River frogs. Fifty Sculptula is a heart piece? Is it not a wallet? Dumpy Grave Tour. You want me to do the Dumpy Grave Tour? If, okay, if this isn't a wallet, then I will do the Dumpy Grave Tour. One of them. Yeah, alright, that's, that's good. Dumpy is only available every night. Oh, right, right. Okay, no, I'm fine. Sorry, no Dumpy, everybody. Come on. Come on, Eileen. Oh my god, you just ruined that song for me, Rhett. Of course your name is Mad Clown. <laughs> Lads, are we doing this? I think, I think it's time to do this. Let me go get the fairy. It seemed like so long ago we were here for the very first time. 
I mean in our childhoods and also in this playthrough. You need gauntlet? Wait, what? When do you get- how do you get gold gauntlet? I forgot. Is it in the castle? Vinny, equip the Hylia shield. Played this game 50 times, by the way. Can you tell? Link, can you hear me? It is I, Raru the Sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. Wish to hear this again? Man, yeah, they went fancy with the Rainbow Bridge in the 3DS version. The N64 version looks like... like a Yoshi fart. So, someone said it's the Shadow Temple area, right? Shadow Trial. Well, I, I just like the way the Hylian shield looks. This is the Warp Core. That's why it sounds like that. <laughs> Vinny, there's a secret room. There is a secret room, isn't there? It's a fairy room, no? If only I had my gyro. You'd be dead. Oh, what you are. Remember when you tried glitching into one of the rooms? Not really. But, I mean, it's me we're talking about here, so. Vinny, someone got the highest waist. What? Can mods VIP people? Hey, base, can you be based for a second, and can you, uh, try to VIP that member, if- if possible? For five minutes. I think the Hylian shield is now gone. Yeah, shit's gone. Alright, well. There goes that. Uh, yeah, there goes that. The legendary Hylian shield is now fucking gone forever. We got a raid. Who raid? Who raid? Oh, hey, Pat. Thanks for the raid, Pat. He hello, everybody. Again. Some people think I have, like, a raid ritual. Like a song, or like, someone said, Vinny, there's a raid, play the harmonica. I do no such thing. I have never once played the- God damn it. I don't like that bit anymore. I want to stop that bit forever. Thanks, though. 
Do you want me to VIP both? Um, there was two of them? Sure, why not? We'll give them five minutes of VIP or so, if you don't mind throwing them in the, uh, in the VIP chamber. Ooh. There's four of them. I see some people in their chat look licking their chops right now, thinking to themselves, I've been waiting so long for this. Finally, something. I knew I was saving channel points for some reason. Well, it's a one night only VIP. Uh, meaning if you get highest waste tomorrow, there will be no such reward for your foolishness. Yeah, you get VIP. Oh, oh, the second part of it is you first you get VIP, then you get banned. No, I'm not going to give base or Dave the extra work. very shiny. You're right. I don't know why that wood... The wood looks old and crusty, but with the shine to it. It's kind of strange. Oh, that's just a repeat of that other one. Okay. See, Ganondorf is so clever and so evil that he creates little flesh barriers. They're like little, uh, meat spheres. Shadow barriers dispelled. Please save the princess. If he never made these meat spheres of power, Link would never have been able to get to him. My, uh, Hello Fresh. Uh, sorry, my, my Goodbye Rotten. This week, I got the Shepherd's Pie. It takes an hour and change to make. But it's the second time I've gotten it. And I do it in the cast iron pan. That is one of those things where you eat that, you don't go out for like six hours. But it's so good, I, ha I had to. Anyway, enter promo code COCK to get a free meal at Goodbye Fresh. I'm kidding. There's no promo code. I don't do I don't do that. <coughs> have your bits needed a trim though? Anyone? Well, have you heard of Manscaped? <laughs> Might be a little overkill. And these poor little bastards. Green potions uh, for 40 rupees. Bombs. No. Uh, arrows. No. Do you sell a Hylian shield? No. Yeah, I kind of just wasted a, a ton of magic. 
Oops. 100% cast iron grill. Also, hi Zito. Just noticed that you, uh, you joined in. The way chatty works is I don't know if people are here in the list until they speak in chat once. So I can I can see the list of people, but I, I don't know who's actually here until someone, you know, until they say something for the first time. I... No, not chat, not like, you know, not like regular chat members. The list goes too far. It's too long. I can't... I meant like mods and VIPs and stuff, you know? Not the peons. What more work? Yes, make Overwatch 2. But it's not a real sequel! Vinny, what's your favorite fruit? Are, I already... what? I did the tier list. In fact, I did a fruit tier list... ...not long ago. While playing Zelda. I'll... you know what? I'll just tell you. I'll just tell you my, my favorite fruits is banana... ...pineapple... ...and strawberries. It, right? It was those three, right? I don't think I had watermelon up there. I think watermelon was like A tier. And vegetables, I've already said. I, I like, um, my, my favorite vegetables are, um, broccoli. It's a Dana Carvey bit. I, um, Brussels sprout. Again. If you caught me saying Brussels sprouts are my favorite fruit, and you told me that when I was like 10, I would have been like, No, you're icky! Um, you just gotta make them right. And as asparagus. I made green beans in the oven. The other day, with a little just oil, salt, pepper. That's all it took, and they were fantastic. So sometimes I'm thinking about those beans. It just depends on how you make the food. Sometimes it comes out less good. I am the great fairy of courage. I will give you defensive power. Vinny, what's your favorite guitar? Try as I might, I can't get away from my strat. <laughs> Battles made you weary, please come back and see me. <laughs> what's your favorite chords? Well, I got a new one that goes from it's um, E flat major to an E flat minor seventh. So at the moment I'm enjoying the E flat minor seven chord. This way. Me play drum. 
not know what that mean, says a chat member named Bongos. <laughs> uh. I, I like when we're in, uh, uh, like, the studio and we're playing music, sometimes, like, Joe and I will be talking about, like, chords and, you know, just, like, uh, where to go on the bass and what guitar note to play and, and Mike will just, like, stare at us like we're speaking an alien language. No offense to Mike, it's just I barely just started to understand this stuff myself after playing guitar since I was 18. So... What's your favorite method to prevent New Vegas from crashing? Nothing. I got- I got nothing. The fuck? <laughs> Song of Storms? Vinny, as my primary father figure in this world, can you teach me to tie a tie? You could do a whole lot better than me. I can't even play the ocarina. The fake ocarina. That's a- that's a weird thing to say, by the way. Chat member. No, this not work either! Oh, oh fuck! I kept waiting for the question, Vinny, who's your favorite between the two, Tears or Fears? I like Fears' voice a little bit better than Tears'. Why that arrow not go through? Forced to use this god awful item. What about Pink and Floyd? I'm wearing a Pink Floyd shirt right now, chat member, but why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I be? I like, by the way, which one's pink, but Floyd is also Floyd the Barber, so I'm gonna go for Floyd. Pierce Brosnan or Beers Brosnan? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to pre-recorded. What's the name of the place in Elden Ring with the hands? Carrie and Manor? Yeah. Well, Gorillas have a tour coming up. They're finally touring Song Machine. Um, fucking Black Keys are probably coming around. Jack White's gonna be in town. Tears for Fears is gonna be in town. It's, uh... Some good concerts. I don't think Gorillas is gonna be in the US, though. I think they're just in Europe. So if we got any Europe's in the audience. Maybe you get to see them.
Are you going to see Paul in concert? Which Tears for Fear song is your favorite? I'm listening to Pale Shelter a whole lot, but Everybody Wants to Rule the World is maybe one of the top songs, maybe all, of all, ever. Um... Paul? Am I going to see Paul McCartney? Well, I've seen him. He's very old. I know he still does a good job and his band is excellent, but, like, he's... You know... I have a concert shirt from when I saw Paul McCartney in 2017. I want you to think about that for a minute. I don't know what there is to think about. It's like, yeah, and... I don't know, it's just weird. Thank you so much for the five rupees. What's your favorite way to piss off the chat? Not say the word spin. Do the frog bit. Hey, Link. You want a heart piece? Yeah. Huh? I got a heart piece. You want a little fucking hair? Huh? That's a good way to piss chat off. Very nice. Yeah, the diaper chief. Hmm, time to thin out my audience. I wonder what the diaper chief is up to. Snake, are you a pee pee poo poo head? Yeah, Colonel, I am. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, I don't know, Snake. I'm gonna call the diaper chief. Yeah? We're gonna play with some... Fisher-Price? Oh, there's a lot of ways to piss the chat off. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, the mere mention of... What are you doing? The mere mention of NFTs is enough to set some people off, because the concept annoys some. Um, I've also had other people tell me how much I don't understand NFTs, and they're actually, in fact, great. Which I couldn't tell if it was a joke or not, because the way they were typing... ...was actually kind of hilarious, intentional or otherwise. I just don't know. Um... Like, Poe's Law. But... The other thing is... I thought chat was saying, Vinny, all you have to do... Is, is mention NFTs. Someone said, no, make your own NFT. That would be a chat killer. <laughs> Only the streamer can add v VIPs. It's for the best. R mention a random anime and chat will go nuts. 
What if I mention a band that is mentioned in jo Jajo? Like King Crimson, and then someone in chat's like, King Crimson! Or I mention the movie Jojo Rabbit. Kingdom Hearts Undertale, baby. Kingdom Hearts Undertale Jojo reference. This is this is a greatest hits stream now. I don't even have to say anything about them, good or bad. I just just say the words. It's like priests, you know. They just say the words. Yeah. I'm a little diaper chief. That's right, Snake. Who's got a folder of 10,000 perfect hogs? Me. I feel like I'm playing Fall Guys again. I could see the clip already. Vinny loses his ever-loving mind. Streamer has mental breakdown live on Zelda. The forest barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, Link. What really ruins Chad is mentioning the hot dog sandwich debate. Yeah, well, it is a sandwich, so, you know, that's fine. It's a cylindrical meat sandwich. What's the problem, Chad? Could it be you're craving my... Nothing more needs to be said, really. What is this garbage room? Is there another treasure chest in here somewhere? With a key in it? I don't have... I... I don't have an opinion on the sandwich hot dog debate. Truthfully, I don't care. If you told me if the World Hot Dog Association was on TV, whatever TV is, tomorrow, and said, Hey, listen, hot dogs are now officially sandwiches. You can all stop your mo uh, your moaning. I'd be like, yeah, sure, all right, fine. It's between two pieces of bread. Is cereal a soup? Ban that member. Here's a question. Do you eat soup or do you drink it? People are saying both. Alright, well what if you couldn't choose both? You have to choose one because my hypotheticals are designed to piss people off. If I drink your milkshake, it's all gone, Eli. I've got, I've drank, by then it's much too late, I've drank it, all of it. It was the fake version of this room. 
There's lots of japes in this game. The light barrier is dispelled. Hurry up! Sounds like chat needs to give There Will Be Blood a watch. Oh, people don't get the reference. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a There Will Be Blood reference. The, the milkshake drainage thing. I mean, I've only just seen it last year, so truthfully, I'm a little late to the party myself. But it has become... It easily is in my top 50 now. I mean, maybe even if I watch it again... I've seen it twice, but... I feel like if I watch it again... That could change maybe even higher, because it is such a great movie. I still haven't seen Paul Thomas Anderson's new movie, Licorice Pizza, but at some point I will. And you know, even though my friend Tyler keeps recommending I watch Punch Drunk Love, it's got Adam Sandler in it, and just on principle alone, I haven't seen it yet. Yes, Licorice Pizza is a real movie title, I will explain. There was a record shop called Licorice Pizza in like the 70s, I think, up until maybe the 90s. Why was it called that? Well, because a record looks like a licorice pizza. It was like a little nickname for vinyl records. Yeah. So, PTA was like, I'm gonna be clever and name my movie that, and no one's gonna get it, but I'm an artiste. Yes, the Parent Teacher Association decided to make a movie. And you know, they've made some good ones. Fun little challenges here in Ganon's Tower. The fire barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, brother! No, I'm gonna watch the- I, I like Adam Sandler, weirdly enough, from... I think Adam Sandler is really nice to his friends. He makes terrible movies, gets millions of dollars from the studio, and just gives it to his friends, and they get to go on vacation and film a terrible movie that millions of people will see. I think I would love to be friends with Adam Sandler. I've not seen Uncut Gems, but also, I can't but help but enjoy his charisma. And some of his, like, early movies. But I just don't find him funny. Which, again, I'm not funny. A lot of people would think I'm not funny. It's just a personal preference. Uh, preference. Prefluence. There's the next English major video. There you go. Mark one off. Adam Sandler's better, Bruce Willis at least. Yeah, how do I get over here? Do I have to go, I have to do it down here. You know what is interesting? I was reading something, this, no, this topic of conversation may depress some people. Um, so you know the Bruce Willis movies that he keeps shitting out? Like, break it down for me. He goes in, he wears an earpiece, he says his lines, does one day of work, and has his body double do all the rest. Right? One day of work. Red Letter Media did a video on this. It's been covered, it's been talked about. Okay, so why would Bruce Willis do all this crap? He doesn't need to. He's made some good money, and he's, he's truthfully... Whether or not you like Bruce Willis, he kind of has contributed a lot to the action movie genre. There is a rumor 
there is speculation. Note, rumors are garbage and for garbage babies. But, there's some speculation based on some stuff that I have not dug into, and I don't want to. It's not my business. That Bruce Willis is experiencing early onset dementia, and he can't remember lines, and he's starting to forget a lot of things, and he wants to make as much money as he can to leave to his kids before he... You know. I read that, and I was like... Oh. Now... I don't mean to make people sad over something that may or may not even be true. But there is a part of me that wonders, like... Is that... what's going on here? Because there was a lot of family drama... ...with, um, Bruce Willis. And apparently they've patched things over. But I don't- I don't know how true that is. I'm not him. No one is him, except him. But that's a pretty fucking scary thing, and I hope... You know, I hope he's okay. Even if he's making shitty movies, I don't- I don't want the guy to, like... ...suffer, you know? You like Sandler for his juice? I like it the juice. Yeah, I don't like to bring too much of reality into the streams. A little bit here and there, but it can be... You know, it can be a little too sad. But, yeah, uh... Ultimately, whatever's going on with him, he, he's, he's making some shitty movies. There's no denying that. What's your favorite early Sandler movie? Um, the ones without Adam Sandler, like, um, Tommy Boy. No, the- the Water Boy is fine. You know, stuff like that. Just his first two movies. Happy Gilmore. Grandma's Boy, I don't remember. I've seen it, I don't- I remember nothing of it. I've also- remember the movie Big Daddy? Oh, you know, Scuba Steve! I remember that. That was on HBO, like, all the fucking time. I have never seen the movie Click. You know what? Wedding Singer was good. I remember liking it. I don't know if I would still like it. But, at the time, The Wedding Singer was a movie I enjoyed. No, he's- he- Adam Sandler, I think... He wrote a song about Chris Farley that he did in his last stand-up special, that it was actually really good, and really touching. As much as I think the guy is a, a genuine hack in regards to his later movies, it's not like he has no talent. Vinny, have you ever seen Blade Runner? That's an interesting question, chat member. Anyway, let me explain how they made the miniature of that one building. Did you know it was a Millennium Falcon model turned on its side? It was actually one of the buildings in the city. True story. Now we've covered every topic. Wait, Lord of the Rings. We haven't talked Lord of the Rings. Oh, wait, we have. We have. Never mind. Yeah, okay, we have. We got everything. It's a greatest hits. Have you seen Airheads with Buscemi, Frazier, and Sandler? Good movie. Yeah, I like that movie. Alright. Have you ever heard of Star Trek? <laughs> All right, here we go. What about Heath Thick in Terminal 7? 
Oh, Jesus. Please. Still didn't drop the scythe. Oh wait, that's a part you haven't seen yet. Vinny, have you heard of the High Elves? This is illegal, you know. Your knuckle. Are they all just Gerudo women? Because I see the the necklaces. And the um, you know. Yeah. I should have gotten another fairy in a jar. I'm missing two. Damn. Or I'm missing one. I have an empty bottle. They just used the model from Naburu. I didn't, I didn't mean to use the word jar, the forbidden word. Even my indie game ideas get poo-pooed because people don't like the word jar. It's a good idea, damn it. to the new Obi-Wan movie. Hey, Obi-Wan! Hey, Obi, it's me, your friend Jar Jar! Oh, no. Not this pathetic creature. Oh, we see you be bomb bad in the desert together, Obi! Yeah, that sounded like Meatwad. Hey, Obi-Wan! I remember you! Ah, you were in the, the ship the whole time, eh? I never met you, never mind! <sighs> Alright, here we go. I've been silly in destroying the mood, I know. I mean, at least he's cultured enough to play some organ. But then again, when you're evil and you have everything, you have a tower and you own the world and stuff, I guess it gets kind of boring. The Triforce parts are resonating. They're combining into one again. The two Triforce parts that I could not capture on that day seven years ago. I didn't expect they would be hidden within you two. <laughs> and now, finally, all the Triforce parts have gathered here. These toys are too much for you. I command you return them to me. <laughs> Link, I can't help you because of the waves of darkness. I can't get close. I'm sorry, Link. It was an illusion.
Right. Wrong order. Wrong order. Oh, man. You can hookshot Ganondorf to finish him in one slash. Wait, what? Really? Don't, just don't attack me real quick, Ganondorf. I'm busy. Thanks. Hurrah! Okay, no, 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 I got this. I got this. Listen, he's no Radon. Getting bored yet, Ganondorf? I could do this all day. Oh my god. Going for the one cycle. Yeah! Fall into the pit of my. I was writing a B 52 song while I was falling down there. Don't mind me. Walls are hook shottable. I mean, at least he's fair. Oh, you are not fair at all. Fuck you. Hey, that's better. Oh, the windows are hook shottable too. You're right. Yeah. Oh, wow, that changes everything. I had no idea. Speedrunners hate him for how for, for how efficient he is. Give me a good one, Ganondorf. A good one. There you go. Penis man discovers that Ganondorf is also a penis man. Where we going, Link? This may not look like it, but it is peak efficiency. Because he's an island boy. Evil King Ganondorf beaten by this kid. Link! Mauled. Some complaints have been made about the 3DS version of this area, which is a little too bright and not grimdark enough. 
And, well, yeah. It doesn't ruin it for me, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's brighter. Ganondorf, pitiful man. Without a strong, righteous mind, he could not control the power of the gods, and... Link, listen to me. This tower will collapse soon. With his last breath, Ganondorf is trying to crush us into the ruins of the tower. We need to hurry and escape. Please follow me. It's funny because in my mind, the last part of this always took place like on the top of the tower. Also, wasn't there a skip involved here? This game, Zelda, leaves you behind a gate. I mean, maybe if they wanted to stop piracy, they could have had it so, like, you couldn't get the Kokiri sword. Because by then, you've already seen 99% of the content in this game. I'd be like, oh, that sucks. I'll just get someone to tell me the ending. these skeletons. I guess they don't care, they're already dead. What's up, Navi? Oh, you're saying watch out, I thought you were saying what's up. Skeletons typically lack a nervous system. Well, how come most skeletons I know are actually really nervous? Why am I- why am I getting plus twos and minus twos for that? I- that was dumb. That was not worthy of even- I, I, people should have just ignored that. They should have just totally ignored me. It was neither a joke, nor a reference, nor anything that made any semblance of sense. Unless maybe there's something I don't know about, in which case, did you like my cool joke chat? Spooky scary skeletons. Send shivers. Your bum. This is a pretty cool tower collapse sequence, but have you seen, um, Sauron's tower? It's... 
in, in Lord of the Ring. How it like explodes off the side. It's really, it's really cool. <laughs> This did actually happen first, that's right. It's over. It's finally over. Link, I'm sorry I couldn't help you in battle before. Zelda's like, holy shit, a talking fairy? We've been- we've been eating these things for years, and they talk? Yeah, too angry to die. Big man, pig man. Ha ha, sure you are. There's no way he's gonna hold me back again. This time we fight together. N Navi, that's wonderful. Thank you for reminding me of your existence this late in the game. That's awesome. Yeah, take the Master Sword. I have a sword made by a Goron. Do you know what that is? Opposite of Moron, for sure. Give me that, give me that tail. Why is it so wiggly? No iframes in this game. Tried to dodge. <laughs> it's because you don't get iframes when you dodge that I'm I'm doing so bad, of course. And only that reason. My dodging is impeccable. Look at that. I'd be so good if this was, uh, Smegma Ring. Using my power to hold the evil king back. Use your sword and deliver the final blow. 
This blood better be red. God damn it. I was hoping the HD pack would restore the blood to red. Six sages now. They're the sickest sages. They're the illest, the chillest. Ancient creators of Hyrule now open the sealed door and send the evil incarnation of darkness into the void of the evil realm. Yeah, Captain Planet. What if I told you this game is a metaphor for asbestos? You. Curse you. Curse you, Zelda. Curse you, sages. Curse you, Link. Someday, when this seal is broken, that is when I will exact uh, exterminate your descendants. I was gonna say, exact my revenge. As long as the Triforce of Power is in my hand. How are you pitch shifting yourself down in real life? Uh, I, I don't really know. A potter. Thank you, Link. Thanks to you, Ganondorf is sealed, has been sealed inside the evil realm. Thus, peace will once again reign in this world, for a time. All the tragedy that has befallen Hyrule was my doing. I was so young, I could not comprehend the consequences of trying to control the sacred realm. I dragged you into it, too. Now, it is time for me to make up for my mistakes. You must lay the master sword to rest and close the door of time. However, by doing this, the road between times will be closed. Link, give the ocarina to me. As a sage, I can return you to your original time with it. No one will know who he is. He will have seen all of the horrors in his ten-year-old brain as an adult and go back. Peace has returned to Hyrule. It is time for us to say goodbye. Now go home, Link. Regain your lost time. Home, where you're supposed to be. The way you are supposed to be. Yeah, it's, it's pretty tragic, the story of the Hero of Time. Thank you, Link. Goodbye. And then he has to go do Majora's Mask after this, which is a whole new world of horrors and tragedy for a ten-year-old to be aware of. But hey, listen. We get some awesome music. And then he becomes a spooky ghost in Twilight Princess, yeah. Sorry for the skips, the, the shader pre-cache thing doesn't cover for some of them, so...
well, it's it's a great game still. I like playing it. Good puzzles. Combat is really nothing crazy, but it does what it has to do. But it's the adventure. It's the world. I was just really in the mood for some nostalgia from this particular game. I just It, it had been a while since I played it legitimately. And uh, the 4K texture pack was, for me, mostly hit and only sometimes a miss. The biggest miss was having to play this via Better Joy with all the goddamn controller problems and, and the, the skips, but otherwise I think it looked mostly pretty good. The 3DS version is very good. And, um, yeah, as a game, it still holds up, and I do think it's it's pretty much... I mean, it's not my favorite Zelda game that's linked to the past still, but it's, like, right up there. Great dungeons, too. Was that a horse? This is the fun party that they have afterwards with a bunch of nameless Gorons and Zoras. And the low-poly models from uh, Hyrule Castle. <laughs> Bean Man! And the Lake Old, who sprunked my game. Who has his own emote. Just like, yeah. We didn't have anything to do with this Ganon guy. He was kind of a jerk. We, we didn't like him. What has this giant fish done to this small Kokiri child? <laughs> uh. You know what? I like to think that they're just best friends now. Because Rudo's gone, and Sari is gone. They both lost someone very dear to them. So maybe they ended up grieving together and becoming good friends. Don't say the word caviar, chat member. Don't ruin this nice moment. Someone in chat said this game is based on a true story. Yes. It is. You know the story of Jimmy Hoffa? Same thing. Now Link gets to hang out with his friends for all- oh wait. So he's not accepted as a Kokiri. No one knows he saved the world. Navi leaves. Like... Poor 
Link. She didn't even say goodbye to him. If they don't know he saved the world, why are they having a party? That was in the future. That was seven years from now. So they saved the past. Link saved the past in the future. And now he's going to go talk to Zelda. Who I'm assuming barely knows him. Maidenless. Well, I mean, at least they can, like, get to know each other again and say, Hey, listen, you know, that Ganondorf guy, he's, he's dead now. So that's good. Maybe they can be friends. I don't know, I gotta find something happy for Link. This, this ending is tough for him. I think, what is it, two months in between this game and Majora? He gets two months before he has to go and do some crazy shit again. This sounds nice. version a lot. Imagine Koji Kondo writing this iconic fucking music in like an afternoon. Rawada, as always. He was a good president for Nintendo. Um, yeah. Good game. Still very good, and I think they did, Grezzo did a good job with the 3DS version. It's not perfect, but it's damn close. I mean, I will say, in, in regards to remakes, this is as close to, as you can get to, like, pres preserving the original intent without doing too much. And just adding little quality of life things, updating the overall feel. I think, personally, I'm very pleased with the way this one came out. Majora's a different story. It looks fantastic. But, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff that people complain about. Um, will you play Majora's Mask 4K upscale? Um, well, Neryl... I think is finishing up the textures. One day, maybe. But truthfully, it's already done. That's cool. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um, I think I'm good for now on Majora for at least a couple years. 
But next time I play Majora, it will be with the texture pack. Guaranteed. So. Well, thanks for watching this. Um, this has been a lot of fun. This has been like a trip down memory lane. And also, for anyone who's never seen this game before, which there are several in chat, it's just really nice to show you a game that means a lot to me and to a lot of us here in the chat. So glad we could watch it together. And it brought it brought me into a better mood for the winter months. On the bright side, I don't have to worry about this controller nonsense anymore. So thank God for that. We're going to take a quick break. I need to um, just get something to drink, some water. And I'll be back with Block Mesa 64 for Mario Day. Oh, it's now M Mari 2 Day. Huh. That doesn't have a nice ring to it, does it? Well, I'll be back. Just a minute. I have a I have a good song for us to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> 